Curiosity can lead you far and I always wanted to test how ceramic bearings works in the bottom bracket just to try and see whether it's worth it or not. You can watch reviews, you can watch what others says but it never going to reflect what you personally can notice yourself. So for that reason I'm going to install those. These are actually compatible with uh, multiple cranks. So of course, as long as you have 24 spindle, you can see that it can be used with different manufacturers. And there are also some spacers for GXP cranks. So yeah, it's pretty much universal. And we will see how it goes installing it and at the same time using it on MTB which I haven't mentioned. For that reason, it includes cross seals. That kind of should help to make sure that those are a bit more protected than the road ones. Definitely, this is not going to outlast the original bottom bracket, but with maintenance, we will see whether they at least give you that placebo effect that something is different. So we will see. You can see that they are rolling by itself. So maybe I won't even need to pedal it. <laughs> Who knows? So I made kind of mid-season rebuild for the bike. Replaced the bearings as they were not too smooth, especially the upper one, which was changed only once in the past. Also the fork and the shock was serviced. Actually, this one was just checked air cans and the front fork we made full service for it because it was around 300 hours or so What's remaining is only a few minor things is to install the bottom bracket already cleaned once we install the bottom bracket we will need cranks the reason why i chosen this is already covered but basically i just have an urge to figure out whether there is some sort of difference when you are using these bearings or not. So this is ABB 8692. And if you are not aware just yet, uh, the bottom bracket of the Spark has a shell width of 92. Hopefully this will work. Will it? We'll see. <laughs> the procedure is as follows. First, we will install the drive side, then we will insert the non-drive side. So like with any bottom brackets installation, it's important to make sure that it's clean. I can just make the last bit of cleaning. And yeah, you can see that the bike has some scratches on the frame if it's visible. The scratches are what showcases that the bike is being used and not just stands in your locker room. So when you apply the thick layer of grease, make sure to spread it around. Excessive will be cleaned later. We will apply the grease on the outside of the bearing here. Bearing shell, shall we say better. So first just make sure that it sits and doesn't drop. For this procedure, I'm going to use Shimano tool, TLBB12. So it's just a gener generic one. It's important that the tool which you are going to use does not push on the inside of the bearing. So make sure it doesn't because otherwise you will just mess up your bottom bracket. It's important to do not over tighten it so as soon as you see the grease coming out and you feel that it's getting into stop before it's too hardly pushed one side is down already now the time is for our one again we are putting grease to the inside as cogel and Basically, everyone says that you should better apply more grease than not enough, so make sure to do that. 
Sometimes it's not beneficial to add more, but not in those cases. It's almost there. We see a bit of the grease on the sides and we are done. Oops, that's how scratches happens on the mic. And that's it. We can clean away the excessive grease. That was very fast and straightforward way to install the co-gel bearings. And we'll see how it works. I'm not expecting some sort of magic. Actually, I could have placed this straight. If you are interested how these should be serviced and how smoothly they go in general, make sure to subscribe to the channel and I will cover this in the near term. By the way, they also include uh, spacers for GXP. So if you are into stickers, you also receive one of those so does it look better sorry cool gel tom 10 is the answer until next today is a special day as finally this one has arrived based on the logo can you imagine what it's going to be like Let's see <laughs>